All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survive Russia. Today is Sunday. We're gonna do a little bit of a new concept or test for a new concept, anyway. Some kind of Sunday hangout, state of the channel, whatever. Mrs. Survive Russia will be joining us, and she will hopefully be joining us in the future as well, because uh, we're gonna try and make a little, uh, little update on the informal format on what's going on and what we're doing without any specific topic, really. But if you have some ideas. You can put them in the comments down there, of course. And uh, you also want to see something with Survivor Ru Mrs. <laughs> Survivor Russia, <laughs> for some weird reason. Uh, but she's not so used to camera, right? No, I'm not. I'm not no. Used. But anyway, anyway, let's start uh, over here. I've been busy, so I've not been able to make any videos, and uh, I've been busy because of uh, vehicle problems of all kinds of sorts. And uh, problems with Survivor, Mrs. Survivor Russia's uh, driving skills and so on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a speedy guy. But anyway, here I, <clears throat> we have a snowmobile. We have an ancient snowmobile. I wanted to go on a little expedition, one or two days. Well, as you can see, we have a pulley down here, and I removed that from here because I realized. That uh, I only had uh, four bolts left on this uh, on the other pulley. There, everything is fine. Then I wanted to fix that pulley. And then I found out that uh, I had a few bad uh, ball bearings. All these are good. You can see we have one of them here. It doesn't look so great, does it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's get to the next topic here. By the way, that is the most reliable vehicle I have ever owned. It's been standing over there all winter. Old gasoline. I didn't even remove the car battery or anything. I just pumped this manual pump on the on the fuel uh, pump and it started right up. That's pretty crazy. 1985, Soviet made. Next up we have the Range Rover. We have a 90 liter diesel tank down here. And the fuel sending unit, you know, the pump in the tank, it's uh, decided that uh, it didn't want it to work any longer. So I had to do some, uh, yeah, find out what was wrong. Then we had a problem with the Volvo. I'm pretty sure Mr. Savary Russia can explain you all about that. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's a very, um, a very, I don't know how to say, uh, shame uh, part of my <laughs> driving history <laughs> but yeah anyway I, I was uh, really busy that day and uh, it was uh, just the uh, beginning of March and the snow started to melt uh, some parts and you know and on this uh, rural road which are deeply covered with snow it's packed and I'm used to driving on it all winter so I drove like I used to drive and then all of a sudden I couldn't do anything about it. The car started to spin. You know, it's like we made 360 degrees and with this SE ended up in a curb. Of course in snow. But I was very lucky that uh, I it happened just uh, right uh, in front of some uh, Sawmill. Oh, sawmill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the, the, the males there, they were just observing. <laughs> it was uh, my first uh, really uh, kind of scary experience, but the, the, the funniest part here is that when I had to, to borrow a car or take a car uh, two days later, I come to Lars and say, hey, but can I drive? And you're not even shame or afraid to take it? I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I need it. <laughs> anyway, since that is our only roadworthy car, except from the Luas of our Russia vehicle over there, I had to spend uh, most of the day putting the front bumper together here, as you can see, like a Frankenstein repair. I had to remove everything and try and get it into place uh, where it kind of fitted, and now it actually looks a lot better than, uh, than it did. <laughs> So we had some damage here and there. So uh, yeah, that's not really anything to make videos about. <coughs> Repairing a front bumper on a Volvo. Then we of course have the Nissan buried over there in the snow, which we want to uh, to make ready for uh, 
as an expedition vehicle. We need some big wheels on it, some uh, low pressure tires. And the uh, state of the channel, you know, Mr. Safari Russia's uh, video with the uh, gondolas in Russia and so on, it did really well. Uh, YouTube didn't like it that much, but uh, anyway, it did really well. Then we did a video down from the school with the kids reassembling uh, AKs with uh, just, uh, you no, know, what are they? They're deactivated, of course, right? YouTube absolutely did not like that video at all and uh, put it on ace restriction and another restriction I couldn't see and my channel is of course already restricted in all sorts of ways so it was also removed from monetization and all that good stuff and uh, that's a whole different story with monetization in Russia but we get into the house here because uh, we of course uh, well, I am of course working on the house so yeah, speaking about the Nissan over there, problems of uh, with monetization in Russia and so on. I've not been uh, speaking very much about that actually to you guys, but uh, it is getting increasingly more problematic uh, to do that. So uh, of course, links in the description to to supporting the channel uh, this is highly appreciated. Boosty which is a link down there, is an international secure way of doing that and uh, it's by far the best way for, for this channel here because uh, it's, it's not hostile to Russia or anything like that as uh, many other sites are. Everybody say all these sanctions and all that good stuff is it's, it's not directed at the ordinary people in Russia and so on but uh, it seems like they are. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> sure, sure, many ways. In many ways, yeah. Let's take the channel monetization, for example. Of course, in Russia you cannot earn any money on the channel, but uh, with the views from abroad, like I have a good amount of, I can of course do it, but they of course shadow banning my channel a little bit and so on, so uh, I don't get the amount of views and uh, they don't share the, my videos as much as they used to do. and. Uh, that just was proved with, with this little uh, video from uh, the school there. The school activities with reassembling AKs and uh, running around in trenches in the snow and all that good stuff, which is an uh, old Soviet concept, of course. And uh, as I said, that been, was put on uh, age restriction and uh, uh, no monetization and all that good stuff, for whatever reason. But anyway, we're in the house here. I've been installing uh, ventilators in here, ventilators in the basement. You can take a look here. We have a thermometer here. It's 19 degrees. This is the coldest spot in the house. Let's try and get down in the basement. Let's check out the humidity down there because we had humidity on almost 80% there at some point. So uh, as I say, I've been installing uh, ventilators and we have a, a heater down there now. And uh, let's check it out. It's not a basement, it's a crawl space, I've been, uh, I've been told by you guys. It is not a basement, it's crawl space. Okay, okay. Oh, we have a little bit of light here. You can see about the ventilator over there. The whole foundation in there, ring was covered in, in the ice kind of, uh, what can we say, condensation. And here we have a, a hygrometer over here. I also have a ventilator over there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you cannot. 62% and 3.2 degrees. 62, that's better than 80. This is what it looks like under the floor. 50 millimeters of insulation, ta la 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 la. Right out there, we have a lot of Mr. Survivor Russia's plants and trees covered under almost one meter of snow. What is it you want to do with these plants? I want to grow them. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a, how you call it, this orangeria or pitomic. Yeah. 
You know, guys who are growing trees and uh, sell them when they're getting a little bit bigger and so on. Plant school, we call it in Danish. Plant school, Plant school. most likely, yeah. But I don't know what's called, actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I but love that's one of your plants. friends, right? Yes, I love uh, decorative uh, bushes, uh, decorative uh, plants, and of course, uh, he likes plants which can produce some food. Yeah, she's a good gardener when it comes to trees and bushes and something, something when it's uh, kitchen gardening and not so much. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, you're good at it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes this summer. I also started to cover up the the front of the house, uh, the facing. But then it got cold again. But guys, so that was it for this little uh, experimental uh, concept video here. Put your uh, comments in the comment section below and uh, please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff and share and like and subscribe and ah uh, so guys until next time get on train get done do something awesome and see you in the next video guys thank you for your time